Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 14 on page 419. If vector A and vector B are unit vectors and the magnitude of vector A plus vector B equals to the square root of 3, determine 2A minus 5B in brackets dotted into B plus 3A. So step one, there are two major concepts behind this problem. The first concept is to expand this and we write this using the definition of dot products. And the second idea, which we'll come back to in a moment, is the fact that the magnitude of a plus b equals to root three. So when we come back to this in a moment, we'll draw a diagram, we'll find the missing angle, it's all gonna work out. Now, if we go back to the first column, again, I'm gonna draw some arrows, I'm expanding this. So there are four parts I need to think about the first part's gonna be 2a dotted into b. The second part is gonna be two times three, that's gonna give you six, a dotted to a. Likewise, if you look at the bottom arrows, negative five times one is negative five, b dotted to b. And if you look at the last part, it's gonna be negative five times three, so negative 15, and b dotted to A. So if you collect like terms, what you've noticed is that the first term is going to be 2 A dot B and the last term is going to be negative 15 B dot A. So again A dot B and B dot A is the same because of the commutative law. So I'm going to copy 2 dot A minus 15 A dot B. Now if you look at the middle two terms, by definition or by the magnitude property, a dot a just means a or the magnitude of a square. Likewise, if you look at b dot b, by the magnitude property, that's gonna be the magnitude of b square. Now, you have to go back to the beginning and it says that a and b are unit vectors. The fact that a and b are unit vectors means the magnitude's gonna be one so this becomes six times one square minus five times one square. If you collect like terms, two minus 15 is gonna be negative 13 a dot b. If you keep going by collecting like terms, six minus five is gonna give you one, 13 can copy. By definition, a dot b equals to the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b cosine the angle between them, so cosine theta. Again, because a and b are unit vectors, these two terms will become one. Now, the missing uh, value is the angle, angle theta. So this is where we're gonna go back to the uh, given and we're gonna find that missing angle. So, from the given, it's telling you that the magnitude of a plus b is gonna be root three. And the fact that the vectors a and b are uh, both uh, one in terms of magnitude, this means you can draw a diagram. So, if you combine these ideas, we're saying that the magnitude of a is gonna be one. The magnitude of b is also gonna be one. And the magnitude of a plus b is gonna be root three which is approximately 1.7. So using a triangle law, you can combine them. You can tell it's an obtuse triangle because of one, one and root three. Now, our goal is to find theta. To find theta, first must find alpha. The key is you wanna find the angle between the two vectors. So on the side, as you're trying to find theta, just be mindful that the angle is right here. You have to connect the vectors tail to tail. Let's write that down. So this is the key. You're not finding alpha, you're trying to find theta, and it has to be connected tail to tail. So you go back, and if you want to find alpha, this is grade 10 academic math, cosine law, cosine alpha equals to one square plus one square minus root three square divided by two times one times one. Again, you can take your calculators, you can work this out in degree mode. Theta is gonna be 120 degrees. If you extend this line, that's gonna be the missing angle, theta, 
the one that we're looking for. And theta, of course, will be 180 minus alpha. So this is going to be 60 degrees. OK. So now we can plug this back in and work it out. So theta is going to be 60. Here comes the second last step. So 1 minus 13 times cosine of 60 degrees. Cosine of 60 equals to half. And uh, here comes the final answer. So 1 minus 13 over 2 is going to be 1 minus 6.5. So the final answer should be negative 5.5. I hope this makes sense.